Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, accessing the function wizard from the formula tab. Before we do that, go to ExcelVBASQL.com. There's almost 27 hours of video. It'll teach you everything you need to know from the beginning Excel all the way up to the advanced Excel. Put your email in here and you can get an email when free videos go up. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there are some videos up on the website. Uh, if, I, if I go down here, in this intro to functions area under the Excel video library and this goes through the functions and the function wizard and in that video if you watched it the way I accessed the function wizard was by hitting this FX button next to the formula bar and you could select a category like financial date time math and trig and under each category you have functions in that category like here's the math and trigonometry functions like absolute value that's a math function that returns the absolute value of a number and there's lots of them right there's um, returns the uh, returns e raised to the power of a given number so these are all math and trigonometry functions and you could go in here and you could look at all the possible functions Microsoft Excel has here's information functions you could you could do I mean there's just a ton of functions um, but in that video in the previous one the way I got to that wizard and to, got to those categories was by hitting this FX button then this wizard pops up then I can select a category or I could search for a, a function in this video uh, it'll be pretty brief uh, hopefully I think it will be and I just want to show you that where where else can you access those if you're curious well in Excel go to the formulas tab up here so right now we're on the home tab go to the formulas tab and what you see right here is the function library and this function library has pretty much the same thing that you see here uh, financial date time math trig notice that here's the here's a financial icon well here's a, a green book and it says financial underneath that is going to contain all these functions that you see here in this uh, in, the, in this wizard that pops up by hitting this FX if I close it and go to here and go to financial here's all those functions so it lists them out for you and then you can go to insert a function and that same box pops up again with financial selected as the category so if I select a different category like text and I and I go down to insert function then <clears throat> text is gonna be selected as the category and here's here's the functions in the text category so all I wanted to show you in this video was that this function library exists and basically <clears throat> how you get to functions how you get to look at the function library you could do it a lot of different ways you could do what I just did um, go to the formula tab and you could go to this insert function that's gonna pop up the same uh, window that you get when you hit this FX button okay the same window with all the functions and the categories alternatively if you already know the function you want you know the category you could just go to the formula tab and click on whatever category you want so here's the most widely used ones uh, financial logical you know logical is something that we looked at in our videos and if functions uh, or functions uh, but we're gonna look at all of them um, but so far you're familiar with the logical functions and these are the most widely used ones then they have this thing out here um, more functions and it's the same sort of thing you know they list the functions and they give you uh, insert function button here with with that same uh, function wizard and <clears throat> basically that's all I wanted to show you in this video uh, was that this tab for this formula tab contains the functions broken out by category and if you click on any one you'll see the functions in each category and then if you click on any function in there you get what we have seen before uh, the function wizard pops up and it allows you to put in the parameters or the arguments and it gives you a description so you're familiar with that wizard I just wanted to show you where you can see the function library broken out by category um, notice they have a recently used thing here that says you know here's the functions that you recently use in case you use functions very frequently you could go here and access them this auto sum uh, I'll get into that later all, all at this time I wanted to do was show you that remember there's if you watch the other video there's about 350 functions in Excel and they're they're divided into categories and that's what we've been doing in, in the previous video uh, this one here uh, where's it at uh, 
here, this intro to functions, we sort of looked at those categories. And in this video here, I just want to show you that those categories are easily accessible. And you could see them here in this, uh, this formula tab. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, I really just wanted to put this video up as a reminder in case, in case you thought, well, this sort of seems odd. I have to click that FX button every time. Well, you don't have to. You can go to this formula tab and get to, uh, get to functions like that. You could search all the functions this way. That's all I wanted to show you guys. A uh, short video this time. A uh, reminder, go to Excel, VBASQL.com, and watch all these videos and become an expert at Excel and VBA. Send me questions if you have any questions. Uh, until the next video, um, I hope to hear from you if you have questions. Thanks. Bye.